Giants offense provides very little for its starting pitchers, just 3.3 runs of support. But three runs is all Tim Linscum asked for. He's 22-1 and one when his team gives him that kind of cooperation. Facing Linsicum on Tuesday, Sean Marshall is searching for his first home win since July 08. Top one, two on, one out for Benji Molina. Hey, it's Tuesday, and he loves himself some deep dish. His fifth home run of the year, a three-run shot, 3 nothing San Francisco. Here's Linsicum, even better at Wrigley than his 157 ERA over his last three games this season. Bottom three, Coy Hill down swinging. Bottom four, Aaron Miles doing the same on that changeup. And then Mike Fontenot's swing batter. Two batters later, though, two on two out for Sean Marshall, and he takes the change up and drops that one into center field. That scores Bobby Scales. 3-2 San Francisco. Lincecum, seven innings, two runs, seven Ks. Top six, Benji Molina to second base. Bobby Scales, that's a long way from Idaho Falls. He makes the play. Marshall, seven innings, eight hits, five runs. Take another look. Scales making his major league debut at 31 years old after 11 years riding the bus in the minors. Bottom seven, now he's up to plate, and he will align to right field, and Randy Wynn just doesn't care what his story is. That's not very nice. Scales, big league debut, one for four, two Ks. Top eight, Aaron Rowan. There he is, looking for him all season. Double to left with the bases loaded, nobody out. Top eight, that scores two. Giants lead, five, two. Your very next batter is Randy Wynn. You saw him make the catch in the bottom of the seventh. Now he's up at the plate, driving in another run. That scores Molina, six, two, San Francisco. Giants 3 for 8 with runners in scoring position came in 2 for their last 25. Giants win 6-2. So after scoring 7 runs combined in their last 4 games, San Francisco puts up 6 on Tuesday. The loss snaps the Cubs' 4-game winning streak as they end the homestand at 4-2.